Madame la directrice exécutive de l'UNICEF, Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs les chefs d'État, Mesdames et Messieurs les ministres, chers membres du groupe des amis, des enfants et des ODD, chers enfants et jeunes, filles et garçons. C'est un honneur pour moi de prendre la parole au nom du président de la République du Bénin, M. Patrice Salon, au premier forum mondial sur les enfants et les jeunes. J'exprime toute ma reconnaissance à tous les acteurs qui se sont investis intellectuellement, physiquement et financièrement pour la tenue effective de ce forum. Permettez-moi de remercier, au nom du président de la République et en mon nom propre, l'engagement de l'UNICEF qui, depuis 115 ans, accompagne nos gouvernements respectifs dans la mise en œuvre des conventions et orientations mondiales, régionales et sous-régionales de promotion et de protection des droits de l'enfant. Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs, chers jeunes et enfants, le Bénin s'est engagé depuis le 3 août 1990 à protéger les droits de tous les enfants en ratifiant successivement la Convention internationale des droits de l'enfant ainsi que la Charte africaine des droits et du bien-être des enfants en 1997. Cet engagement s'est traduit par des réformes institutionnelles et législatives au fur et à mesure que se présentaient les défis socioculturels, économiques et religieux porteurs de vulnérabilités diverses à l'encontre des enfants. Plusieurs politiques et actions ont depuis lors été mises en œuvre. Au nom des résultats majeurs obtenus au Bénin, je veux citer, entre autres, le vote et l'application du code. I would de like to apply the application of the code of um, children with the policy of um, under the action, national action plan for the removal of. Uh, children's labor in uh, 2019. But the problem I would like to tell you about today is about violence against children in general, those who live in the street, and uh, for instance, all kinds of children, but also girls. In Benin, there are girls who are victims of uh, violence and ill-treatment amongst those who are learning. Some of them are harassed or victims of rape. Moreover, all the girls in, at school don't have the chance to remain at school at, um, until the end of their studies, sometimes because forced marriage economic problems of, um, that uh, that parents undergo or religious grounds. We know that more than one girl will be, the more a girl will be at school, the less she will be, um, she will be f forced to marry. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as a reply to violence against children and girls, we have uh, launched awareness raising campaigns and a free telephone assistance which is anonymous to denounce violence against children but with regards to persistence of the challenges it is clear that ongoing education is the key to the um, expected changes it must involve all the social layers men more than as well as women uh, men more than women with this concept of positive masculinity also, we need to fight omerta and put in place programs to prevent, reduce, and punish violence done against children and girls, and also eradicate all the barriers against um, education, girls' education, and children in general. This is why Benin has therefore um, submitted a, a bill to uh, punish men for sexual crime against children and for the protection of women and girls. This um, law has been um, adopted recently 
and it also includes violence, gender-related violence, as well as sexual aggressions, rape, early marriage, genital mutilations, and violence on women and girls. This legal setting translates the commitment from my country to work endlessly in such a way that by 2030, all children in Benin, especially girls, can live in a family and community and legal framework contexts that are without violence against them, without any abuses against them, so they can enjoy all their rights and contribute with dignity to the development of our society. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, children and young people, I would like, as a conclusion, pay tribute to the actions undertaken by associations, organizations, and young and, chil and children movements that take part to these actions in favor to their generations. I would like to mention the relay for the advocacy of children and um, the young people that is supported by the UNICEF that um, encompasses all the departments of uh, the country in order to meet all the prefects in order to remind them the growing vulnerability or specific, the specific vulnerability related to children. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, to help us uh, letting everyone know that children must play a key role in the building of our future. And excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and children, young people, I would like to thank the um, group of the Friends of the Children for organizing this forum, as well as all the sta multi-stakeholders. Thank you very much.